Hey Aries, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the rest of January 2023, moving into February. I'm gonna be pulling a nine card spread, see who comes through for you romantically, find out how they truly feel about you this week, what their true intentions are with you, and their next actions. But hey Aries, if there's someone that you're in a recent no contact situation with where you haven't heard from them in a few days, up to a few weeks or so, and you're curious about what they're feeling, I will pull a hidden message at the end of the read to find out how they feel about you during this period of recent no contact. All right, but for everyone else, let's do this. Spirit, what do we have for Aries today? What is going on in their romantic love life for the rest of January 2023, moving into February? How does this person feel about Aries? What's their true intentions with Aries and their next moves? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my amazing Aries. First card out for you is the sun, major arcana for Leo, and the world. So Aries, the world card is all about reaching milestones, you know, reaching a level of success. And the fact that it came out next to the sun tells me that your love life is reaching a new milestone and you're gonna be very happy about it. There's also the energy of someone coming through this reading feeling very happy that you came into their life. Now, I don't know what stage you guys are in the connection, whether it's brand new, like just came in this week, or if it's someone that you have been trying to develop with something over time. Either way, someone's happy. Could definitely be dealing with a Leo. This is strong Leo energy, but this is also Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus coming through. We have Temperance, Major Arcana for Sagittarius. So right out of the gate, we have three Major Arcanas, and Major Arcanas in Tarot represent big, big changes, big shifts in energy, right? So there's some sort of big shift happening between you and another person. Sometimes the Temperance card can represent reconciliations because Temperance is all about compromising with another person, coming to some sort of mutual agreement that makes everybody happy, everyone involved very happy. Um, this could also be telling me that you met someone during Sagittarius season and things are starting to develop, starting to go further to where you guys may be um, taking your connection to the next level, okay? Regardless, something big is happening with all this major um, arcana energy. So let's continue. Six more cards. Judgment, another major arcana. Now, judgment is all about making final decisions and this decision makes both parties happy. Whether it's the breakup or makeup, there's some sort of final decision that is going to lead to a new beginning for somebody here. And when you think of the judgment card, it's all about resurrection. Resurrecting something from the dead after it flatlined for a bit. So some of you guys are resurrecting a connection after it flatlined for a little bit during Capricorn season perhaps. Or some of you guys may have a past life connection coming in where you guys are getting a second chance to have a relationship together. Because if you think of the Sun card in the traditional Rider Waite deck, it shows a baby, you know, signifying a new birth, right? And judgment is kind of like putting the nail in the coffin and burying something to have a new beginning, right? So I'm strongly getting a new beginning for somebody here. Whether it's a new beginning in new love or a new beginning with old love or you and someone that you have been developing something with for some time now, taking a connection to the next level. Regardless, something big is happening, okay? Something big is happening. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So there is this masculine energy, and remember, chicks can come up as the king of wands too. We all carry masculine and feminine energy. But there's a masculine energy that's getting ready to take some action. Like they are really hell-bent and determined to take some action. Because the king of wands is someone that does not let grass grow under their feet. They are determined to make a move, okay? Whether this is you, Aries, or someone that you're connecting to, someone's got their eyes on the prize and they're coming. Right, they're going. And I am getting strong Leo energy. So some of you guys could have met during Leo season or all this Leo reference could be implying that someone needed their confidence to reach a certain level to come forward about how they truly feel. Sometimes people are not confident enough to express their feelings. They're shy or they got fear of rejection. But when the King of Wands shows up, that's someone that's like, uh-uh. 
nothing is going to get in my way. I'm going to share my feelings, right? And the feelings that I'm feeling right now is a lot of passion, a lot of desire. I don't have many cups here. Okay, so for some of you, it could be where you and this person are, you know, segs only at this moment and you're wanting a more serious relationship. But looking at this temperance card, I'm seeing someone's foot in a body of water and water in tarot represents emotions. But someone's needing to have their emotions balanced before coming forward and confessing their true feelings. Someone doesn't want to confess their feelings when they're overly happy or overly sad or overly angry, overly confused, balanced emotions. Keeping one foot on dry land, one foot in the water is a good combination to reveal your feelings to somebody. Okay. It's also the energy of someone not getting too far into the deep end in terms of esoteric. So if you're watching a lot of tarot readings, um, maybe this is a sign that you might need to pull back a bit and just stick to like one or two readers, even if it means I get the boot, right? Your well-being is more important than of you. So some of you may need to pull back a bit um, because you may be getting different messages from different, different people, okay? I, I personally watch two. That's two that I stick to. Now, I am seeing someone coming towards you, and this person could love cats, or someone here has a beautiful orange cat. Okay, it's a very prominent, you know, energy in this, in this art depiction. So that's why I'm bringing it up. It's very prominent. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What I love most about this reading, Aries, is that two people are coming in very mature. All right, regardless of which side you're on, whether you're the Queen of Pentacles or you're the King of Wands, you both are coming in very mature. I like that. Whether you guys were always mature with each other in the past, it's showing me now moving forward, there is a mutual maturity, okay? But I do see where you guys don't have eye to eye right here, where you guys are kind of looking away at each other. So some of you Aries may be dealing with someone that you have not been seeing eye to eye with and maybe Maybe recently you guys have been apart and now you guys are meant to come back together, come back together, really rewind, come back together and compromise with each other and see if this is worth fighting for, if it's a reconciliation. If it's not a reconciliation attempt, you guys are just coming in with different values, different beliefs, um, but you guys are going to work together somehow. Okay, because one person is more about monetary, more about the 3D lifestyle, taking care of money, things like that. While the other one is more of an adventurer, likes to go out and just have fun and do exciting things, right? While one person may be a homebody. Three more cards. We have the Eight of Cups. So someone here may have walked away, okay? Page of Cups, and there's this new beginning here. Now, I am strongly getting that someone here may have walked away and it's taken someone some time to figure out if this is something worth fighting for, something to rebuild. And I already said earlier that something may have flatlined between the two of you guys where there was no communication, communication was just non-existent and someone walked away from the connection and now there's a chance to rebuild and have a new beginning. Or there's an Aries that recently walked away from a connection you turned your back on somebody and now you're being blessed with a new person because pages are new for me, but they also represent apologies. It, they also represent communication from someone that's got their feelings open. Someone's looking at you. Someone's got their eyes on you. Literally, they got an eye. I hope they have two, but if they only have one, it's okay. <laughs> What's the advice? Queen of Wands, your advice is to be yourself. Your advice is to take a seat maybe. Right? Regardless of your gender, they're showing me you taking a seat, okay? And this is telling me that they want you to spend this time nurturing yourself and let this person come to you. Because there's someone coming through wanting to take the assertive position and with your advice being the Queen of Wands, it's now confirming that you're the one that needs to sit back and let this person come to you. Okay? I got that similar for somebody. Who was that? Was it Virgo? Was it Virgo or Libra? Somebody got a similar message where they were just being guided to take a seat, love up on themselves for a little bit, treat themselves the way that they want someone to treat them, and then someone wanted to come in on their own terms. Oh, I can't remember. What's the overall energy? Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Wands in my readings oftentimes can 
you know, denote the talking stage. So you may be in the talking stage with somebody. It's very new, very flirty. And now you guys want to reach a new milestone where you go from talking to dating and, you know, things like that. But it also could be the energy of someone being at a crossroads ready to make a final decision on what they want in their love life, whether to walk away from a situation officially or to walk away from any disagreements and come together and compromise with each other is what I'm getting. Okay? So I'm going to start clarifying. How many major arcanas here? One, two, three, four. All right, so definitely significant. Spirit, please clarify that sun card. Please clarify that sun card for Aries' love life this week. Please clarify that sun card. Something may be happening during your birthday season. I'm getting a lot of new beginning energy, a lot of rebirth. Sun, well, it, it gave me two cards. I got the Ace of Pentacles and I got the Knight of Wands. So, the Ace of Pentacles is one of my favorite aces to see in a love reading. Everyone knows that. Hands down, it's my favorite. Because the Ace of Pentacles is built to last a long time. It's not fleeting. All right, it lasts a lot, a while. Ooh, 11, 11. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is the equivalent of planting a seed and a tree taking time to grow, but we all know trees last a very long time, versus the Ace of Wands that comes in hot and heavy and then just says quick, it, you know, the wand goes down. All right, so we do have someone that's coming towards you with that Knight of Wands energy, but normally I don't care for the Knight of Wands, but the fact that it came out with the Ace of Pentacles does tell me that there is potential, right? This person may just be too new in your life to where they, they're not ready to level up the connection just yet, but the fact that the King of Wands is here is telling me that someone's going from the Knight of Wands and promoting themselves to the King of Wands, which is your perfect match, being the Queen of Wands here. So someone wants to be your perfect match. Whether you're walking away from someone to find this person or after someone walked away, someone's returning to start over. Okay, it's gonna be different for every Aries out there depending on which deacon you're at too is what it feels like. Let's clarify the world and I look open to the Fool and the Two of Pentacles. The world card is a milestone being reached and then a chapter closing for a new one to begin. The Fool is the brand new beginning. And I'm about to clarify the world. And this is your major arcana. And you see how you're this cute little cat taking that path to that sun. The sun. So I have an Aries here that regardless of the situation, you've got a brand new, new beginning. All right, something that's gonna make you very, very happy. You're gonna be very, very happy. I only have one negative card in this deck, and that's the Eight of Cups. And technically, the Eight of Cups to me is not a negative card. It's walking away from BS that doesn't serve you anymore. It's walking away from stuff that just drains you emotionally. This is actually should be a happy card, but it, it, it kind of blows during the moment, you know? Can I clarify that world card? I mean, the Eight of Cups is walking towards that Nine Cup. That Nine of Cups, that's what we like. The King of Pentacles. So I had the Queen of Pentacles and I had the King of Pentacles. So Aries, for some of you, um, not only is you and this connection gonna be very passionate and adventurous, but you guys are also gonna be stable in each other's lives. You guys are coming in as the King and Queen of Wand and Pentacle energy. But for others, you've got a choice between a fire sign and an earth sign. Okay, and it doesn't even have to be between a fire sign and an earth sign. It's the energy of having a choice between one person that is more uh, 3D stable while another person is more like, you know, a risk taker, goes after what they're passionate about, is a lot of fun, business owner. Okay, clarify that temperance. And I open up to the strength card and the four of wands. Somebody's really looking for a settled down relationship. Someone really wants that commitment. Um, but is, is someone getting what they want? Knight of Cups. Someone wants to express their feelings to you, Aries. Because when a cat rolls over and exposes its tummy, it's their way of saying, I'm ready to be vulnerable with you. I trust you. Well, you break my heart. Please don't. You know? And I'm getting, a, I'm getting another um, reference to somebody wanting to be more playful. I mean, I don't think I said that earlier, but I said it in my head. I just didn't say it out loud. <laughs> um, ten of Wands, Three of Wands. Someone's wanting to release some burdens here, but they feel like they have to wait a little bit longer for some reason. There might be some red tape involved in you guys being together for some reason. 
Um, let's clarify this judgment. Maybe someone's walking away from a reconciliation, perhaps. Let's clarify. Will you please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way? And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Aries, the link to my website is in the description box below of this video. And don't forget, I did your Love Monthly and Love Weekly all in my 2023 playlist. So if you're new here, go binge watch the rest of the January Love Readings. Why the judgment? The moon. Now the moon is connect to Neptune energy and this card connects to the 12th house and whatever is connected to the 12th house is hidden. It's the house of low key haters. The 12th house is where things are a mystery, things that are more connected to your subconscious and that you have to use your intuition to figure out, right? So whatever big decision this is, someone's needing to really trust their intuition before making this decision. And cats can see in the dark. We can't see in the dark, but we can technically see in the dark if we use our third eye, our intuition. All right, those little nudges we get from spirit, those little, those little nug nudges that lets us know this is the right decision, Aries. Please trust it. And it leads to success and victory. Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. A lot of Leo reference. And then here's the Empress. And then I got the star, Aquarius energy. But if you look at the star card, it shows Leo the line right here. Okay, so some of you guys could definitely be connecting to a Leo or something am amazing is going to happen during Leo season for you this year. Okay. Can I clarify the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, please? Can I clarify the Queen of Wands and the King of, or the Rewind, Queen of Pentacles, please? The Four of Pentacles. I do feel like someone is coming in with a very blocked energy. All right, if you look at the Four of Pentacles in this tarot deck, that cat does not look warm and inviting. He doesn't look like he's standing at the front of his house wanting to make you some French toast. It's someone that is like really like standoffish. He's standing in front of his house, you know, protecting his space, being very like determined to not let anyone come close. So you might have someone that recently blocked you and you're being guided to walk away from that person and enter a new connection somewhere else. Or somebody is coming back around after blocking somebody energetically or actually their phone number. All right. That's what it feels like. And that could be why you guys have your backs turned towards each other on my spread. It's like you're not meeting eye to eye. You reach some sort of disagreement or something. And now someone's trying to use their intuition with the high priestess on whether to walk away from the past six of cups or to return to the past six of cups. Please clarify the Eight of Cups. And I just glanced at the Ace of Cups. Someone's wanting to walk away from some sort of misunderstanding and start a new beginning elsewhere or with that same person after coming together again. What is this Eight of Cups? Seven of Cups, someone's still confused, okay? About a relationship, Four of Wands, that could be nurtured with that Empress energy. But that Page of Cups is the outcome. Clarify the Page of Cups. Why is that the outcome for Aries this week? Clarify that Page of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. You're getting a lot of communication this week. A lot of communication. For some, there might be an apology. What's on the bottom? The world. This communication leads to a milestone in your love life, Aries, right? And this is also the indication that something is coming in very like innocent like someone's taking little baby steps because those are little baby kittens right here someone's like taking baby steps sending sending one message that is very sweet and testing the waters to see how you respond and then all right aries responded nicely to that that little emotional gesture let me up the ante and really go all in and be more romantic about my feelings someone's getting ready to express their feelings to you aries and if this is someone brand new in your life they will eventually express their feelings if this is too soon for them to have love for you, but it's got the makings for it reaching something. That's a milestone. Now, if you are in a recent no contact situation, I'm going to see what this person's feeling during this time. Now, recent no contact is for me a couple days up to a few weeks. I try to stay away from anything past six months, okay? I feel like if someone's been quiet with you for that long, they need to stay in the past. All right, they don't deserve you. All right, so let's find out. Now, for zodiac signs, you could be connecting with a Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, 
that's the main ones that came through, but it really could be any zodiac sign, okay? Hit a message. Please rock that like and subscribe button. I really, really greatly appreciate it. All right, let's get these over here. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? That's totally subjective for you, uh, Aries. If this person has waited more than five months, it's totally up to you if you will let this person come back in. But if it's only been a few days, up to a couple weeks, uh, if this person's sincere and genuine and didn't really hurt you that bad, well, of course, that's gonna be subjective too. Um, I knew you were right, but couldn't admit it to myself or you. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. All right, so with that, I hope this reading helped. If it did, rock that like button. I love you, Aries, later Gators.